In 2010, China's number one export to the U.S. was computer equipment, about $50 billion worth. What's the fastest growing export from America to China? Scrap and trash. Chinese manufacturers develop new and aggressively priced consumer products made from American waste. Sell the products back to the American consumers at great profit, then Americans trash it all again in a year or two and send it back to China once more. We are wasting a very valuable resource. Waste. Well, not all of us. There are some artists, like Debbie Cates, who reuse materials that would have been thrown away to make new products. Debbie, what's your process? For me, the process of reuse started out very, very personal. As a child, my grandmother had a box with all these bits and odds and ends and things that didn't go with anything. And I, some of my first memories were playing with this stuff and I thought, I'm going to put the little things on the outside. And that's what I did. So there were all kinds of sparkles and jewels and, um, and it felt great and it felt healing and um, it opened me up to a whole different way to work. And now, not only do I not throw anything away, I don't let you throw anything away. So I have collected a ton of jewelry and toys and then covered all sorts of other surfaces with it. And, but I think my motto in life is, why buy something new if you can buy something old? Better made, better character, and then the odd bits turn into other things. This is just glorious. It's too bad it's not bigger. But again, this will be um, headbands and neck warmers, maybe even some hats. So this is another one of the things that I do. Uh, bags, this was a piece of a curtain, and this was another kind of curtain. And then I use that. I obviously had to buy the facing and, and so forth, but and the thread, but the facing and the thread are the only new things that are on the bag. If you want to meet Debbie, along with about 30 other artists who reuse materials in their work, join us on Saturday, October 13th from 9 to 2 p.m. at the John F. Kennedy Middle School at 100 Bridge Road in Florence, Mass. Some of the artists will be demonstrating, and they will all have their work for sale, ranging from clothing and jewelry to picture frames and furniture. There will also be a no-sew Halloween costume activity for children. For more information, check out www.northamptonma.gov/dpw.